Okay, so today we are gonna be talking about the thing that I was the most excited for coming into this anniversary, more so than the part one LRs, definitely more so than the part two LRs. And I am of course talking about the upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings for the fifth anniversary, LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue. Now, as of recording, we are less than five hours away from their release on Global. So uh, yeah, in this video, we're gonna do a full breakdown of their EZA details and their Extreme Z battle events to get you guys fully prepared. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. We have a lot to get through. And I am of course starting with my personal favorite, which is the Gogeta. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, as base Gogeta, his leader skill is Final Trump Card or Fusion Category Key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 150%, 12 key super attack, raises attack, causes colossal damage, 18 key super, raises attack, causes mega colossal damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 3, and launches an additional attack that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn, and transforms when conditions are met. And the condition is transformed starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. Links are saying Warrior Race, Fuse Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Orbit of Flash, Kamehameha Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Fusion, Realm of Gods, Transformation Boost, Movie Heroes, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Powerful Comeback, Time Limit, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighters, and Super Heroes. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening for the base Gogeta, his new leader skill is Final Trump Card or Fusion Category K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, Super Attack raises Attack, raises Defense for one turn and causes Colossal Damage, and then 18 Key Super raises Attack, greatly raises Defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage, Passive Attack and Defense plus 140%, so basically double the boost from before, and then Key plus 4 when attacking launches an additional attack, it has a great chance of becoming a super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks as the third attacker in a turn so now it's a 70 percent chance versus a 50 percent chance to dodge as the third attacker and then plus an additional defense plus 100 percent which helps a lot transforms when conditions are met and the condition is the same transform starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. So uh, we get some nice boosts, obviously, from the pre EZA form. And uh, the main thing is more defense, right? Because these guys were pretty squishy before the EZA. And uh, I'm not going to say they're like defensive juggernauts by any means, but definitely a lot more defense post EZA. And uh, yeah, that is the base Gogeta. Now let's jump over to the blue Gogeta and uh, going over his pre EZA details. Um, obviously, the leader skill stays the same. The 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Uh, passive attack and defense plus 77%. Key plus 5 launches an additional attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% up to 77% with each attack performed and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Launches an additional super attack and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. Active skill, ultimate Kamehameha, which is, in my opinion, still the best looking active skill in the entire game. Greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less starting from the next attacking turn once only. So this is before the EZA. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, obviously new leader skill, 12 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and then 18 key super greatly raises defense for three turns, that's nice, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for one turn after transformation. So just like the uh, Int Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, you get one turn where you're basically invincible. You're not taking any damage because you're dodging every single attack. 
And then attack and defense plus 150% launches, sorry, key plus 5 launches 2 additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and a uh, attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Key plus 7 launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks as the third attacker in a turn, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 5 and attack and defense plus 22% up to 88% with each attack performed, performs a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So even though he has the attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker, a critical hit still does more damage. It's still a bigger multiplier, right? So getting 24 key uh, guaranteed crits is uh, a big boost to his damage potential as well, right? So uh, that is the LR Blue Gogeta. He is pretty awesome. <laughs> he's pretty awesome. I'm not going to say at this point that he's like, you know, the, the best EZA in the game or anything like that. I do think that he's up there along with the uh, Vegito as two of the best EZAs in the game, but I wouldn't put them at like number one and two or anything like that, but they're really, really good. They're very, very impressive, and I'm just super stoked to be able to use them again in the game without worrying about, you know, dying every turn from supers, right? Because they were just very bad defensively, and now with the additional uh, additional dodge chance, with the additional defense, they can actually hold their own a little bit, um, even in the harder events, right? And uh, their damage output just got boosted even more, so... They're going to be hitting super, super hard, and they've always been really fun units to run, so I'm just excited, man. I really am. I'm so excited for this release. So uh, that's the passive. Um, the active skill stuff stays exactly the same, so no changes there. Um, of course, the links are a little bit different from the base form uh, Gogeta, which you can see uh, Super Saiyan and Warrior Gods are new. Uh, same categories. And uh, that's basically the Blue Gogeta. Now, quickly going over his Extreme Z Battle event. They do have separate events, by the way. So, more stones, which is great. Um, the weakness, as always, for these LR Extreme Z Battles is the Legendary Power Link. So, you want to have as many LRs on the team as you possibly can. Along with running Pure Saiyans, because you get damage reduction with Pure Saiyans units, which allows you to stay alive. So, Pure Saiyans and Legendary Power uh, are the effective link slash categories and then uh you know from there we have 10 stages for all the extreme z uh, awakening medals they're getting three stones per clear so in total still 30 stones from the stages and then beyond that you're getting some hercule statues and uh, of course along the way you get some uh, orbs as well and some kais um, on top of that so in total once you clear the first 10 levels you're looking at 45 Extreme Z Awakening Medals, 2 Extreme Z Awakener Gogeta, 5 uh, STR Kai's for, you know, boosting your Gogeta's super attack levels, and then 30 stones, and enough uh, STR orbs to rainbow an STR unit. And you got a few missions here, or sorry, just one mission, clear stage 7 for 3 more stones, so 33 stones available in total from this event. Now let's move on to the Vegito, and uh, starting with the base Vegito, leader skill is before the EZ8 final trump card or uh, Patara category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, 12 key super, raises attack and causes colossal damage, 18 key super, raises attack, causes mega colossal damage, passive attack and defense plus 70%, it's going to be very similar to the Kojita, by the way. Uh, key plus 3 launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn transforms when conditions are met. Uh, transformation condition, the same as Gogeta, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. Links, same warrior race, Brainiacs, Power Bustle by God, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories, you know what, I'm not going to read all of them, but you guys can see right here, there's a... A lot of categories for this guy too and with the extreme z awakening you get a 20 percent boost to the leader skill super attack raises attack raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage 18 key super raises attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage passive attack and defense plus 140 percent key plus four when attacking launches an additional attack that is a great chance of becoming a super attack as the first or second attacker in the turn launches an additional super attack and great chance 
of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn, plus an additional defense plus 100% when attacking, and transforms when conditions are met. So yeah, a lot of the same stuff as the STR Gogeta. Now, the main difference, uh, differences we'll see are in the transform state as blue, Vegito, or Vegito blue. So, before the Extremes the Awakening, same leader skill, but 12k super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Uh, 18k super raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, passive attack and defense plus 77%, key plus 2, launches an additional super attack, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 5, and attack and defense plus 7% up to 77%, with each attack performed as the first or second attacker in a turn. Launches an additional super attack, there's a high chance of becoming... Sorry, uh, and a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. Uh, active skill is Final Kamehameha, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn once only. So that's without the Extreme Z Awakening, Vegito Blue, now with the Extreme Z Awakening. 12k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Ultra super attack, 18k super greatly raises defense for three turns and causes mega colossal damage. Passive evades enemies attacks including super attacks for one turn after transforming. Attack and defense plus 150%, key plus 5 launches an additional super attack and medium chance of launching another additional super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. Q plus 7 launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks as the third attacker in a turn, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 5, and attack and defense plus 22% up to 88% with each attack performed, launches an additional super attack when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So instead of getting guaranteed crits at 24 key, or after you launch the active skill, you get uh, an additional super attack. So this guy is, I mean, he's always been known for this, but he's just supering constantly. He's launching multiple supers every single turn with ease. Um, I think maximum up to like, something like five supers, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but I, th I, th I think he has the potential to launch up to five supers. So um, yeah, crazy damage output, just like before, but now even more so amped up, right? and uh, a lot more defense as well. And of course, final Kamehameha is the active skill. New links are Super Saiyan Kamehameha. And that's it. And of course, same categories. So yeah, that is the LR Vegito Blue. Um, as much as it hurts me to say, I do think Vegito is still, as he was before the Extreme Sea Awakenings, is still better than Blue Gogeta. Uh, Gogeta has better animations, let's be honest, but... Vegito is just, uh, you know, kit-wise, the better unit. Um, and that's okay. That's okay, because if you have both, you just run them on the same team, and they both go off, and it's it's a great time, you know? So, uh, yeah, those are the two blue boys. Before we get out of here, just a quick breakdown of the Vegito Extreme Z Battle event. Weakness, Legendary Power for additional damage, and Realm of Gods for damage reduction. And... Uh, you know, 10 stages, uh, tech orbs instead of STR orbs compared to Gogeta, tech Kai's instead of, you know, STR Kai's compared to Gogeta's event. And in total, we're looking at 30 stones, 45 Extreme Z Awakening medals, 5 tech Kai's, enough tech orbs to rainbow a tech unit, and also one mission, additional 3 stones for clearing stage 7 once. So that about does it guys, that is your full breakdown. I didn't want to uh, make this video too long. We're still going to be in the 15 minute range, which is a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be. But there was, like I said, there was a lot of stuff to get through. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, didn't fall asleep. <laughs> and like I said, less than five hours to go. Maybe by this time they're already out in the game. It's still good to know their details. And uh, trust me when I say they're worth Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, if you have them, you're probably going to do it anyway. So doesn't really matter what I say, but if for some reason you were on the fence and you were unsure about whether it was worth your time, trust me, it's worth your time to get these Extreme Z battles done and to get these boys Extreme Z Awakened because they're super fun, they're really strong, and uh, I can't freaking wait. So 
that is the video guys thank you so much for watching hopefully the anniversary has been kind to you for me summons wise uh it's been not the best but that's okay i still got one of the part one lrs so i'll take it and um yeah that's that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out